AB are positive integers. A squared plus AB plus B squared equals 343. Let's pick out A plus B. To use the given condition, let's square A plus B using perfect square formula. So we get A plus B squared equals A squared plus 2AB plus B squared. We can write it as A squared plus AB plus B squared and then plus AB. We know this part is 343. So we get A plus B squared equals 343 plus AB, right? We denote that as condition one. Next, we figure out a lower bound for A plus B. We know AB are positive integers. So A times B should be greater than zero. That means from A1, we get A plus B squared should be greater than 343. Let's estimate A plus B. We know 18 squared equals 324. 19 squared equals 361. Yes. So we get A plus B at least would be 19, right? So we get a lower bound. To get an upper bound, let's use another perfect square formula. A square minus 2AB plus B square equals A minus B square. That is greater than or equals zero, right? Both sides add 4AB. So we get a square plus 2ab plus b square greater than or equal to 4ab. Now the left side is a plus b square. The right side, 4 times ab. But using 1, right, we can replace ab by a plus b square minus 343. Expand it. So we get 4 times that. So 4 times a plus b squared. 4 times 343 equals 1,372. Now both sides add 1,372. So the left side 1,372. And both sides subtract a plus b squared, so cancel out. So we get greater than or equal to 3a plus b squared, right? Now both sides divided by 3, so we get a plus b squared less than or equal to 1372 divided by 3, which is 457 and 1 third. Let's estimate A plus B again. 21 square equals 441. Good. But 22 square equals 484. Not good. So we get A plus B less than or equal to 21. We denote that as 3. So from 2 and 3, we know there are three possible values for A plus B. That would be A plus B equals 19, or A plus B equals 20, or A plus B equals 21. Let's see if they are solutions to the given problem. If A plus B equals 19 by 1, right? Plug in. So we get 19 squared equals 343 plus AB. So we get AB equals 361 minus 343, which is 18. Yes, we get solution. A equals, for example, 18. B then equals 1. Or A equals 1, B equals 18. Anyway, 19 is a solution.
let's see 20. By one again, so 20 squared equals 343 plus AB, then AB equals 400 minus 343, which is 57. You will see, in this case, no integer solutions. So that means that's not a solution. Let's look at the last case by one again. So 21 squared equals 343 plus AB. So AB equals 21 squared 441 minus 343, which is 98. Yes, we get A equals 14, B equals 7, right? So 21 is a solution. So totally, we get two solutions to the given problem, 19 or 21. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.